Wibbles, a year-old pup from California, was rescued from the street by animal control. They noticed immediately something was wrong. Wiggles falls frequently and can't control his bowels. At a local shelter, these unusual symptoms put his chances for adoption near zero. But here at Dogtown, they consider every animal adoptable. Now the challenge for the team, find the right home for this disabled dog. Hey, Wiggles. Hey, little boy. Hello. At Dogtown's clinic, head veterinarian Dr. Mike Dix evaluates Wiggles for the first time. He must determine if Wiggles suffers from a life-threatening illness or if his condition is manageable. Good boy, let's watch you walk. He's like a drunken sailor. First impression of Wiggles is, he's crazy. He's cute in an ugly sort of way, and he's just very endearing. Wiggles' symptoms may be the result of bad breeding technique. He was found somewhere near like a bulldog breeder, which he kind of does have bulldog qualities with his short squatty legs, his underbite, his sort of squished in face. Dog breeders often use inbreeding to guarantee desirable traits. But this technique limits the gene pool and can lead to genetic mutations with symptoms like the ones Wiggles displays. He could be a purebred dog, purebred gone awry. Who knows? Dr. Mike's first goal? Determine if Wiggles' condition is neurological. He puts Wiggles through a battery of diagnostic tests. And so most dogs, when you flip it over, would return to normal right away. So he's got it on that side too. He should have righted it quicker. Mike discovers a disconnect between the nerves in Wiggles' foot and his brain, indicating a problem with his neurological system. Whether that's a problem with the brain, problem with the nerves, or problem with the pathway, is what we don't know. Could be something going on with the cerebellum. The cerebellum the part of the brain which controls balance plays a vital role in basic motor function. When I menace him, which are, I kind of pretend like I'm going to poke him in the eye, and he's blinking quite a bit. You actually need a cerebellum intact to do that. Wiggle's blink response indicates a normal cerebellum. Good boy. A dog like Wiggles, it's actually kind of an exciting, interesting case to figure out where his problem is. I've always been kind of a science-minded person, wondering how things work, how to fix things, the little intricate processes that are involved in life. Ah, Wiggles. A malformed spine might explain Wiggles' symptoms. An x-ray will reveal if this is the problem. Slide you this way, handsome. His spine actually looks pretty good. Doesn't mean it's not a spinal issue, but there's nothing obvious. With a severe brain or spinal injury ruled out, it's likely Wiggles was born with a genetic defect that affects his neurological system. But he's stable, so Mike gives the go-ahead for adoption. I think what he has is going to be a permanent issue with him. But the goal will be that he can learn to cope with what he has and adjust accordingly. Now, Dogtown faces a daunting task. Find a family willing to care for Wiggles, disabilities and all. Finding a home for a squatty, bulldogish dog that falls over and occasionally drops poop. It's just a little bit harder to find the right person for them. It just takes a little more time. 